Hello, my name is Shalanda Chaudhary, and in this video, I'll show how to use Certificate Manager to secure custom domain of your application. We'll use the Ingress controller for routing the traffic on your applications. So let's start. So I'll quickly summarize what we are going to do in this video. We already have an AKS demo cluster, which is deployed in this AKS series. And when we deploy an AKS cluster, a load balancer is deployed along with it, which is standard load balancer. This is the load balancer. So first thing we are going to do is create an ingress controller. And we will be using the NGNX ingress controller for this. This is ingress controller. And once ingress controller is created, it will create a new public IP in the load balancer. Now the IP is created. So now the next step is to create the ingress routing for the application. But before this, we want to use the custom domain. I have already purchased a custom domain named as mydevsecops.org. I have purchased this domain from a third party website. First thing is I'll create a DNS zone for this domain. Once DNS zone is created, it will provide few name servers, which will be added to the third party website. Once the DNS zone is ready, we'll create a record with the public IP. So that means when we open this custom domain in the browser, it should redirect to this public IP. Now the third step is we'll create two different applications, app one and app two and we'll create cluster IP service for them, service one and service two, so that these applications are available internally. Now to route the traffic on these application, ingress has to be created, where the routing will be performed and ingress controller will make the changes in the load balancer based on the ingress routing. Now there is one more step which we want to add, which is securing this application using the TLS certificate. For TLS certificate, we'll be using Let's Encrypt Certifying Authority. So first we'll create a cert manager. We'll install it using the Helm. And using the cert manager, we'll create this certificate. And we'll assign this certificate into the ingress routing which we'll be creating. So that means if the traffic is needed for application one, it will be routed to application one. If it's for application two, it will be routed to application two. And both these application will be reachable through this public IP, which is created in the load balancer. And this public IP will open through HTTPS. It will be secure page using the certificate manager. And as you know, we have already created an A record for this public IP with our custom domain, which means now if we'll open our custom domain with a defined host path, then the traffic will be routed to the application one and application two accordingly. And before we start the demo, I have already created a blog page where all the steps are listed. As you can see here, all the commands as well as the YAML files, which we'll be using in this demo are all provided in this blog. As there are a lot of steps as well as the commands to be followed. So I thought it will be easy for you if you'll follow this blog. Let's start the lab now. So we'll be using the same AKS demo cluster. And let's log into the cloud shell. I'm logged in now. kubectl get node. There are two nodes in this cluster. So let's follow the blog. So the first step is create a namespace ingress basic for the ingress controller where all the ingress controller related resources will be created. So let's create the namespace ingress basic. Namespace is created now. Let's check. Ingress basic, it's created. The next is we'll add the repo for the ingress controller. Let's add the Helm repo. These are the same steps which we have performed in the previous video too. So it's kind of a refresher because I've already added this repo. So it's already there. The next one is we'll update the repo. It's 
updated now and we'll create an ingress controller with a replica of two so that means two pods will be created so we are installing the ingress nginx and the namespace is ingress basic let's run this command so let's check if the ingress controller is created hyphen namespace which is ingress basic so as you can see ingress nginx controller is created and this is the public ip which is applied in the load balancer too let's check if it's applied in the load balancer As you can see, it's the same IP address. So two ports of the ingress controller are created. Now the next step is to create a DNS zone so that we can map our custom domain with the public IP of the load balancer. So let's go to the portal, go to DNS zone, create the zone. we'll use the same AKS demo resource group and provide the domain name mydevsecops.org and let's create it DNS zone is instantly created let's go here and as you can see for mydevsecops.org there are four name servers provided. So what I have to do is I have to go to that website from where I purchased this domain and make the changes in the name server. So Ionos is the website from where I purchased this. I'll go to the domain and make the changes in the name server. So use custom name server and let me copy them fast. Now the name servers are updated and sometimes it takes few minutes to hours and time being we can create an A record as well as proceed with our steps. Hopefully by the time we are ready, these name servers are updated. So let's create a record set and it will be alias record. We don't want to provide any name here because we want to directly reach out to our domain. So let's find the IP address. kubectl get service namespace ingress so this is the IP address of the load balancer let's copy and as you can see a record is created for the custom domain mapping to the IP of the load balancer so the second step is done let's go to the third step now we have to install the cert manager. Uh, there are two ways we can use the certificate while creating the ingress. One is self-signed certificate, but the problem with the self-signed certificate is when you will open the custom domain website, it will throw a security warning. And the second one is using the certifying authority certificate. And in this case, we'll use the let's encrypt certifying authority because it provides the free certificates. So let's start with labeling the namespace so that it will disable the validation. The namespace is updated now. We'll add the repo. It already exists. We'll update the repo. updated and the certificate manager requires the custom resource definition and these are all defined in the github certificate manager so let's copy this command and apply directly so 
So multiple custom resource definitions are created, which include the cluster issuers, issuers, and the certificates. Now we'll install the certificate manager from the jet stack into the namespace ingress basic and the version is 1.7.1. This is the latest version which is available now. Let's run this command. And as you can see, the certificate manager is created. So let's check. Get pods hyphen in ingress basic. So as you can see, the certificate manager pods are created. One is certificate manager, another one is injector, which is certifying authority injector and the webhook. So these pods are created now. So let's move on to next step. Now we'll create a cluster issuer, which will use the let's encrypt server and will create a certificate for us. Issuer.yaml. Let's paste this. So it's a cluster issuer, name is let's encrypt. And the class is nginx. And this is the let's encrypt server which it's using. So let's apply this. We have given a different name. So let me change the name of the file here. The issuer is created now. Let's check this. kubectl get cluster issuer and the namespace is ingress basic. As you can see the let's encrypt issuer is created now. Now we'll create two different application, application one and application two. These are the demo application which are provided by Azure and then we'll create a respective cluster IP service for them. So let's copy the name of the file. copy this and these are the same application and service we have created in the previous video also aks hello world one and it's using the image of aks hello world and it's using the different title for two different applications and the service is cluster ip service let's create hello world 2 also and copy paste from here. And we'll apply both the files now. And both the application will be deployed in the ingress basic namespace. All the applications are created. Let's check get all hyphen ingress basic. So now as you can see, there are the two application pod, application one, application two, certificate manager pod, ingress controller pods, as well as the different two services which are created. There are other services for ingress controller and the certificate manager but we are focusing here on the two different application one and two and these are created as a part of deployment that's why there are multiple pods available. Now we'll create the ingress where we'll define the routing of the application and these changes will be made into the load balancer by the ingress controller. So let's copy the name of the file first. You would have seen the same file in the previous video but the change here is 
now we are providing the cluster issuer in the annotations which is let's encrypt which we have created and we are providing the name of the host which is our custom domain my devs oh sorry it's not dot com is org and for the hello world application if we are using the path as hello world one it will go to the application one if we'll use the hello world two then it will go to the application two in case we are not using anything it will go to the application one so let's save and apply so we are applying this configuration in the ingress basic namespace so ingress is created let's check kubectl get ingress hyphen namespace of ingress basic as you can see hello world ingress is and the same ingress is created by acme which is let's encrypt so let's go to the ionos website if the name servers are updated or not looks like yes the name servers are updated let's open our custom domain which is mydevsecops.org and perfect you can see that now our application one is showing its web page now if you add the host path of hello world one then it will go to the application one again as we have defined in the ingress routing and it's the same page and if we'll make it two then it will go to the application two and you can see the web page has changed and now the ingress controller has made the changes in the load balancer and all the traffic through the public ip of the load balancer is routing towards application 1 and application 2 based on the host path so to summarize this video first of all we created ingress basic namespace then we created the dns zone so that we can create an alias record of the custom domain with the public ip of the load balancer once that is done we created a certificate manager using the helm chart and using the same certificate manager we issued a certificate then we created our application and the services and finally we created an ingress where we defined the host based routing as well as the tls certificate and once that is done we can visit our custom domain in the browser and then we see the web page of the application which are deployed so that is all for this video i hope you liked it please like and subscribe thank you so much